On too many occasions recently, our streets have been hijacked by small groups who are hostile to our values and have no respect for our democratic tradition. However, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has now announced a crackdown on Islamist protesters. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be checking out a video titled No More Visas for Islamists and Protesters. UK PM Prime Minister Rish Sunak cracked down on Islamists. Wow, I believe this is going to be an interesting one. So how would the video go? Hate or protest or seek to intimidate people we will remove their right to be here. Islamist extremists and far-right groups are spreading a poison. That poison is extremism. The UK Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, has just declared a new crackdown on Islamist protesters who have been disrespecting British people and ridiculing them during peaceful rallies. In a recent demonstration, a Palestinian teacher held up a sign showing the faces of Sunak and the former Home Secretary, Swell Bravman alongside coconuts under a beech tree. When questioned by the UK police, the teacher defended it as cultural expression, which seems like a clear mockery of the Prime Minister and other British citizens. Intimidation, threats and planned acts of violence. This behaviour is unacceptable and needs to be addressed by the government through legal measures to put a stop to such public abuse from Islamist groups. In today's video, I'll delve into the recent events surrounding the mockery of Prime Minister Sunak and the issue of cracking down on Islamist protesters. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest updates. Let's focus on the details here. 37-year-old teacher Maria A. Hussein recently joined thousands of pro-Palestine protesters in London, advocating for an end to Israel's war in Gaza. During the rally, she held up a placard featuring the faces of Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and former Home Secretary Swell Bravman, alongside coconuts under a beech tree. Her message resonated strongly, particularly with Britain's ethnic minority communities. In these communities, the term coconut is often used. It implies that someone, usually of black or brown heritage, is perceived as betraying their roots by aligning too closely with white opinions or values. This incident has sparked a heated debate. While some people perceive the use of the term coconut as racist and offensive, others argue that it falls under the realm of free speech and serves as a valid form of critique. The context is crucial here. It's worth noting that at the time of the protest, a prominent right-wing figure had labelled pro-Palestine demonstrations in the UK as hate marches, and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak himself denounced the march as disrespectful. Days later, the Metropolitan Police took action by posting a photo of Maria Hussein holding her placard on its official account, stating that she was being sought in connection to a hate crime. The post gained widespread attention, going viral across social media platforms. As a result, Hussein has been charged with a racially aggravated public order offence and is scheduled to appear in court next month. A spokesperson from the Metropolitan Police has confirmed the charges against Hussein, stating that she was informed of them via post. In response, Hussein expressed surprise and disbelief, stating, I had no idea that our word coconut would be hijacked by a demographic that doesn't use these words and then used against me to criminalise me. This statement was given in an interview with Al Jazeera before she was formally charged. Maria Hussein went on to say, As a woman of colour and a Muslim, coupled with my outspoken criticism of our government's role in aiding and abetting a genocide against the Palestinian people, I have found myself in a vulnerable position. These intersecting factors have made me the perfect scapegoat for far-right ideologists. I have always believed and still do that I have full ownership of the word coconut. In many cultures, words like this are used to hold individuals of ethnic origins accountable when they wield their positions of power to promote white supremacy ideals, narratives and policies. 
It's difficult to convey the full weight of what she expressed here, but essentially, she feels victimised and unfairly targeted, both as a victim of crime and mockery. According to the Metropolitan Police, hate can constitute a crime if it is driven by hostility or prejudice based on factors like race, sexual orientation, disability or transgender identity. Importantly, the definition highlights that the victim themselves doesn't need to perceive the incident as hateful for it to be considered a hate crime. Until the recent fallout, many were unaware that the term coconut could be considered a hate crime. It's worth noting that not all public uses of the word have resulted in prosecution. On too many occasions recently, our streets have been hijacked by small groups who are hostile to our values and have no respect for our democratic tradition. However, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has now announced a crackdown on Islamist protesters. Many of them are expected to face legal action with potential consequences including court appearances and visa cancellations. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak emphasised the gravity of the situation, stating, We cannot tolerate any form of hate or discrimination in our society. The recent events have shown us that certain language and actions can be deeply hurtful and divisive. As such, we are taking decisive action to address these issues and ensure that all members of our society feel safe and respected. This crackdown on Islamist protesters is a necessary step in upholding our values of equality and inclusivity. Thank you for watching this video with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on UK immigration news and other important updates. Your support is appreciated. Wow. What an interesting and enlightening uh, speech. You can tell just from the title, no more visas for Islamists and protesters. UK PM Rishi Sunak crackdown on Islamists. Wow. And I really feel sorry for those that have or that found them uh, that have uh, that find themselves in this situation. But I would like to clarify something. You come into UK, you should be able to understand that UK as a nation they have their own identity, which is embodied uh, in their tradition, embodied in their culture, embodied in their values. You coming into UK, you have to be able to adjust yourself to accommodate uh, the culture in UK. You have to be able to uh, adjust yourself to accommodate uh, the culture, the tradition, and the value system in UK. You can come to uh, someone's country and you start protesting uh, against the person. I believe this is what uh, Douglas Murray always always talk about, uh, that Islamics, that the, the Islamic extremism is violent in nature. Douglas Murray always uh, talk about this, that this should be, should be addressed. This should be addressed, that they tend to pick offense easily when people try to express uh, their freedom of speech or when people try to express their freedom of, uh, of, of expression. And you can see in this video that the protest was more like a violent protest because I believe if the protest was a peaceful protest, all this... It's not going to result in anything. And in the process of you trying to uh, trying to prove your point, in the process of you trying to prove your point, you are making mockery of the UK culture. You are making mockery of the UK tradition. You are making mockery of the UK value system. And a mass in question that they are protesting to support a mass in question that they are protesting to support have been labeled as a terrorist group. And I believe Douglas Murray always points this out that if you really 
feel that you want to support uh, Hamas. UK is a Christian country. You can't come to UK and you try to impose your value. You try to impose your tradition. You try to impose your culture into UK's culture. You have been accommodated. You should try to accept UK culture, integrate by accepting UK culture, UK tradition, UK value system. Instead of imposing your culture, imposing your tradition, imposing your values on the people of UK. Douglas Murray always talk about this, that if you truly want to show your support for Hamas, instead of uh, making mockery of, uh, of UK culture, making mockery of UK tradition, making mockery of UK value system, that is better you go back to your country and show your support to Hamas in your own country that is a Muslim country where no one is going to question your action. Or rather, you can go to uh, go to Gaza, go to Gaza, take up uh, take up arms and show your support for and show your support for Hamas instead of you coming to a Christian country and protesting, engaging in violent protests, making mockery of the uh, of those in government and also making mockery of uh, UK culture in order to uh, in order to prove your ideology is right, which is totally wrong, and. Because of this act of violence, a lot of people that are even innocent are going to be are going to be victimized. Just like the title, the title said, "No more visas for Islamists and protesters." UK Prime Minister uh, uh, Rishi Sunak cracked down on Islamists. Wow! So a lot of people are going to uh, are going to be denied visa just because of this art of extremism, just because of this art of violence. If you are in a, in, in a country that is not your country, you have to be able to behave yourself, conduct yourself in such a way that you are not going to abuse the opportunity that is given to you. I really feel for the lady. I really feel for the lady. I wonder how the court case is going to go. I wonder how the court case is going to go. And you don't have to uh, engage in uh, uh, in a protest by making mockery of the governance of a country that is giving you uh, that is giving you uh, a place to stay, or make mockery of the people's culture, or make mockery of the people's tradition, or make mockery of the people's value system. That is totally unacceptable. So keep your comments coming. I would also like to hear your views on, on this video titled No More Visas for Islamists and Protesters. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak cracked down on Islamists. Wow. So keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day.